Welcome to Project 2. Uh, this is a project I think you'll enjoy a lot. Number one, it's uh, going to be a fun thing to create, and you get to define everything about this uh, B-movie poster. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples in just a minute. But you are going to be coming up with an idea for a B-movie. It basically just means it's rather sensationalistic and exaggerated. The examples will make that very clear. This can really be any kind of a movie that you want to define and create. So you're going to come up with the idea, you're going to come up with the title, then obviously you're going to come up with the design for your poster and lay it out completely. This project will start getting you versed in Photoshop, uh, which I think you'll discover, if you haven't used it already, is an incredibly fun program to use because you can create things that are just unbelievably realistic. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's look at some examples. Plan 9 from Outer Space. X, the man with the X-ray eyes. Attack of the 50-foot woman. I married a monster from outer space. The brain that wouldn't die. Reefer Madness. Tarantula. Voodoo Woman. So you can see that these are not movies or posters to be taken very seriously. They are uh, feel a little dated, a little kitschy, and they also feel very extreme. And these are kind of the things you need to hook into as you are considering what your movie and your movie poster are going to be about. So uh, the key here is not to take yourself or this movie or this poster very seriously. We're gonna have some technical requirements that you're gonna need to be aware of and follow, but in terms of the theme and what you're doing, have a good time. For this sure. is just meant to uh, amuse. So uh, anyway, let's get into some specifics now. So here are a few things we want you to get out of this project. So from a creative point of view, we want you to successfully message what the movie is about. What is the theme? What is the focus? How are you going to get somebody to want to see this movie? So keep in mind, movie posters aren't complicated. If you imagine a, a theater that has a whole bunch of posters along the hallway, what's it going to take to get you to stop and look at one of those posters? So you need to grab their attention and you need to be very specific and very graphic in your presentation in the sense that you want people to feel something when they look at this. So think exaggeration um, as you're doing this. Oh. Okay, so some technical stuff we would like you to get is uh, we want you to be able to create and then work with high resolution images, uh, specifically in Photoshop, which is where you're going to assemble these, modify them, and selectively take different parts of different pictures and put them together. You're gonna need to use selection tools and or masking. So layers, selection, and masking there are all videos on these things in titanium and other things as well. Okay, so what are the steps you're going to go through? Well, this is going to be a relatively quick project, just a couple of weeks. So obviously your first step is going to be to find uh, the theme and the movie title. Uh, the next step is going to be for you to figure out what your layout is going to be. So point number one encompasses a lot. So what is the layout going to be? What are the elements going to be? And that will define what pictures you need to shoot. And so step two is take three original photographs. You're probably going to need to take much more than that, but you're only going to use three for the background, for a person or people or things. 
You're also going to need to deal with type. And so uh, I would recommend that you deal with your photo manipulation all in Photoshop. And if you are comfortable in Photoshop, you may do your type in there as well. But my recommendation would be to finish your Photoshop work and then place that into an Illustrator document of the correct size. And then you can do your type in Illustrator. You're probably a little more comfortable doing type in Illustrator considering we just finished the quote project. Uh, finally, step four, uh, your poster should be vertical and it should measure 10 by 13 inches. So that's in proportion to a standard press sheet. Also note that the minimum resolution should be 150 pixels per inch. Now, if it's bigger than that, um, and most of yours will probably be much bigger than that, that is fine, don't worry about it, but I do not want it to be less than 150 pixels per inch. There's a movie on resolution and we will also talk about this in class. Finally, workflow. And so this goes hand in hand with steps and requirements. So step one, conceptualize and create thumbnail sketches. And so thumbnails are called thumbnails because they are small, like the size of your thumbnail. That's a little too tiny, but small, quick sketches. Nobody's going to see these but you. It doesn't matter if you think you can draw or not. What you can do is you can think and come up with good ideas. So step one is the most important step, because if you don't come up with a good idea, you're not going to execute a good poster. Yes, dear. Out of that, you will be able to define what images you're going to need to photograph, you're going to need to then shoot the photography, and then you can start assembling them and editing them within Photoshop. Uh, finally, you will take that into uh, Illustrator to put your type in, or you will go ahead and put your type in within Photoshop, and then you will create a PDF file. Uh, specifically make it for high quality print. So when you get that second screen, when you're saving as a PDF, make sure you choose high quality print preset from the menu at the top. And then you will turn that in and uh, I will ask you to create a zip file containing your PDF file, your Photoshop file, and if you used Illustrator, your Illustrator file as well. There is a video for how to create a zip file, which you will find in Titanium. And then finally, how are you going to be evaluated on this? You will be evaluated on how well you meet the criteria I just reviewed. And then you will be evaluated on concept effectiveness. How well did you solve the problem? How much did you compel the viewer to want to see the movie? Technical is going to be a part of this. So did you do what we wanted you to do in Photoshop? And if you did, then how well did you do it? So the more time you spend, the better you execute, the better you will do on this portion of the project. Now, keep in mind, you're learning. We get that. So we're not expecting you to be a Photoshop god. But, you know, as long as you're, say, a Photoshop minion, then you will do fine. What we want to see is that you put in an effort. That's pretty much it. I think you'll enjoy this project. And as I said at the top, uh, make sure that you remember that this is fun and don't take it too seriously. What so ever. to finish off, let's look at a few examples of uh, work that other students have done on this project. Colonel Satan presents The Devil's Hen House. Killer drag. She is coming for your weave. Catzilla and the litter from the deep. Doppelgangster. Trust no one, not even yourself. Revenge of the mannequin. Who's the dummy now? Making the cut by any means necessary. Where, cat? No one is safe this full moon. Death knocked on his door. He answered. Death came for me. A film by Juan Garcia.